Next up, we go to DD2 for RMC Germany and RMC Belgium. Let's have a look at the starting grid. Pole position will be in the hands of Yannick Jacobs in the 401, who will have Nikita Genzer alongside on the front row for company. Row two, it's Nico Hanke and Mats Johan Overhoff. Then we've got the two leading RMC Belgian drivers, the 655 of Axel Goes and the number 644 of Nicolas Guillaume. Behind them, who round out the top 10, will be Marco Trittenpreis, Louis Koch, Tim Mikametz, and Jan Eckstein. Henry Lindo uh, Lindlof, uh, David Girush, Luca Köster, Luca Weber, Jordi Klebo, the next to the Belgian drivers, rounding out the top 15, ahead of Mark Schubmann, Kian de Brandt in 17th, and the number 658, Benedict Demmler. Jan Müller, Luca Neuenhausen, Malte Schlatter, Rudi Freis, Alexander Semhau, Noah Stretz, Maximilian Adolf, Mika Schwinnen, Daniel Lansch, Marek Mack, and Luca Schade round out the 29 strong combined grid. As the field now officially goes on to its formation lap, and the red lights ignite on the starting gantry. 10 minutes plus an additional lap of the circuit here at Kaupen for these drivers to negotiate. And once the red lights go out, we'll be underway and racing for the first time for these drivers. Course points will be allocated accordingly. When I spoke with Luca Neuenhausen this morning, he went, well, I've got two races, so I can't really complain. I said, you know what that means, Luca? More track time for you. So, Yannick Jacobs and Nikita Genza on the front row of the grid. Has been an interesting so one so far this season for 2024 in the DD2 scale of things because at the moment Tim Metz leads the way in multi time. DD2 RMC Germany champion. He's going to be starting on the inside of row number five. As into the tram lines we go. Lights on the gantry. We are lights out of the way. And well. Yannick Jakobs has already cleared off. I think he caught, he might have caught everyone napping, but obviously he's now made his way through into the lead of the race. Nico Hanka up past Nikita Genza and now in second position. I think maybe even Axel Hoos might be up to third place. Yes, he is. The man from Combi Kart Racing Team from the Netherlands. Already getting past Mats Johan Overhoff early doors in this race. Nicola Guillaume has been passed by Michael Trippenpreis. And uh, I spoke also with Nico Guillaume earlier on today, who's wearing his uh, RMC Florida Winter Trophy outfit uh, that he wore early last year. I had a chat with him in his other half, uh, Lizanne. And he said, yeah, felt, well, we wanted to go a bit different. We wanted to stop wearing the Team Belgium outfit I'd worn last year. And that's a great move there from... Uh, Guillaume, and that might have been on, was that on Mats Johan Overhoff? Yes, it was. And Overhoff has got the likes of Dredenpreis, former teammate Louis Koch, just behind Tim Mikametz and Jan Eckstein round out the top ten. And as Axel, uh, Axel goes uh, closing in on Nico Hanke, Hanke, who these days also is running in GTs, but it's a good training ground for drivers no matter where you are in the world and no matter what your disposition reference your preferred mode of fast transportation around a circuit is but Axel Hoos dives up the inside uses the curbing Hanka hangs it round the outside and holds on to P2 a great move there by Nico Hanka but I'm not too sure if we might have had a little bit of a drama coming through into turn number two uh, just a couple of seconds ago just a few places behind uh, the Number 409 of Hanke. But Yannick Jakobs, after the opening two laps, had an eight-tenth of a second advantage. 
Now Nico Hanka leads the charge of the Light, Br Light Brigade. And there is Nikita Genza closing in on Axel Goes in the number 655, of course, for uh, RMC Germany. It's a four is the first number. For RMC Belgium, we're running with a six as the first number. And Axel, who's trying to do everything in his power to get past Nico Hanka, still leading the RMC Belgian contingent, which at the moment, Axel, Axel goes in second. I'm sorry, third place, Nicolas Guillaume in fifth. Next up will be Kian de Brandt down in 17th and Luca Neuenhausen in 22nd. So everyone having their own battles to deal with. But Nikita Genza closing in and ax on Axel goes. They come down across the line once again and Yannick Yakovs has a lead of 1.5 seconds. And good to see Luca Kirsta. Well, he's trying to shake off the ring rust is the number 433. As Axel who's up the inside, that's through at turn six. Great move there by the Dutchman from Combi Kart Racing Team. Now up into P2 overall. And what's more, things are closing up behind because along with Axel goes. Oh, that, was that a mistake from Nikita? Was that a mistake? Or possibly being slightly compromised? Well, Nikita again finds himself behind Nico Hanka. And Mats Johan Overhoff has got past Nicola Guillaume. So very, very important moves happening up and down the order, but I think it might have been a nigh on close coming together between that quartet of drivers. Like literally you, one starts having a moment, backs into somebody else, and it just causes a chain reaction effect. But behind Nicola Guillaume, you've got the likes of Marco Brittenpais, Louis Koch, Tim Mikametz, Jan Eckstein now up into 10th. Uh, Luca Kirster is only three tenths of a second away from hitting the top ten. I still remember him smacking the left side sidewalls out of the final corner at uh, Mulsen back in a very, very saturated uh, winter, well, August time. As now we're going to have a move. Hanke against Genza, and Genza gets through. That's for P3 on the road. And whilst they've been battling away, of course, Axel, Axel goes concentrating on RMC Belgium. Of course, it's a good uh, good show of prowess. From Axel goes the uh, young man from the Netherlands. But Hanke, Genza, Overhoff, Guillaume, and also the likes of Treppen, Weiss, Koch and Metz. They're getting very, very closely packed as they go through in towards the fast left-hander. Now running into the Schumacher S, and then heading into the left-hander. But at the moment, Yannick Jakobs has an overall lead of nearly 2.3 seconds. You make that three seconds between him and Nikita Genser in P3. Nico Hanke, Mas Johanovahov, Nikola Guillaume, Marco Trittenpreis. Very, very close. Two seconds covering from second down to... Well, actually, looking at it from third from Nikita Genser down to Tim Mikametz. 1.8 seconds. That is third to ninth position. And that's effectively seven drivers. Coming down to four minutes to go, plus an additional lap. And Yannick Yakov's just continuing uh, to put in the fast laps at the moment. He's running in the low to mid, maybe, well, low to high, 44.7s. Axel goes currently running in the 44.9s and has just put in a personal best. Nikita Genza, overall fastest driver of anybody. 44.724 for the 407 from Dom Rushwad. It's going to be an overtake facilitated. That looks to be... Well, I'm wondering who that was. That might have been... Well, I was trying to keep an eye on who that was. As we have had a change, Nikita Genza gets through on uh, Axel Goes. 
I think that was Mats Johan Overhoff, possibly on Nico Hanke. And that would have been for fourth overall. So changes are afoot up and down the order, but the leader is still the same. Jacobs is leading. Second, Genza. Third, Axel goes. Fourth, Mats Johan Overhoff. Fifth, Nico Hanke. Sixth, Nicola Guillaume. Seventh, Michael Trevenpais. Then, Louis Koch. Tim Mikimets and Luca Costa. Now round out the top 10. Luca Costa, 8.8 .8 seconds behind the race leader, who's now on to his 11th lap of racing so far. Time is fast ticking away in this race, and Jakobs literally doesn't nearly doesn't really need to worry. However, I have seen a car tour two uh, off the circuit. Well, Marek Mack out on lap five, Maximilian Adolf, who didn't break the the timing beam in sector number three, uh, both have retired. Yannick Jakobs. Doing exactly what he needs to do. Nikita Genza holding the fastest lap of the race. And in these hot weather conditions, 24 degrees Celsius. It feels hotter than what it actually is, folks. So we're just under a minute to go. There's your race leader, Yannick Jakobs, coming through out of turn number two. And then into the left-hander here at three. Now, with a bit of clear air in front of him, this could give the opportunity to Nikita Genza to try and move away. It could also give an opportunity for Genza to pull away from Axel Goes and start chasing down Yannick Jakobs. But it's going to be too little too late at this point because Yannick Jakobs goes on to the penultimate lap out of this race. So lap 14 and 15 is starting as we as started as we speak gap 3.4 seconds between Jakobs and Genza goes rounds out the top three and is the leading RMC Belgian uh, Belgium entrance Mats Johan Overhoff rounding out the top four Nico Hanka still running in the top five fifth place for the number 409 And with 27 runners still to, still going, last lap board is out, and there is the sign seen by Nikita Genza, which about 3.6 seconds before that moment was also being seen by one Yannick Jakobs. And there is Jakobs making his way through onto the other side of the circuit. Axel goes leading the way in the RMC Belgium classification and is running a strong P3 up two places from fifth on the grid. At one point was close to holding on to second. But out of the final corner, Yannick Jacobs picks up the victory. Genza takes second. Axel goes, rounds out the top three and takes the victory in RMC Belgium. Out of Mats Johan Overhoff, Nico Hanke, Nicola Guillaume takes P2. In RMC Belgium, running out the top six ahead of Marco Trettenpreis, Louis Koch, Tim Mikemetz, and welcome back, Luca Costa. In his first race back, he picks up a P10. Luca Weber, Jan Eckstein, David Jirush, Benny Temmler, and Kian de Brandt ran out the top 15. David Jirush, the, the highest placed club sport driver in that race, 13th overall from Kian de Brandt. It was Mark Schubmann, Jori Klebo, the uh, next place driver, fourth in RMC Belgium, ahead of uh, Alexander Semrau, Malte Schlatra, Jan Müller, Noah Stretz, Rudi Freis, Luca Neuenhausen, Mika Schwenen, Daniel Lanch, Henry Lindloff, 
and Luca Schade rounding out the drivers that made it to the end of 15 laps with Marek Mack and Maximilian Adolf retiring on laps 5 and 2 respectively.